Hey guys, the next time you're in a coffee shop, grab a sugar packet, show your hands undeniably empty, then take a bit of the sugar and uh, actually hold food from your mouth here. Take some of the sugar, sugar in your coffee, not a lot, just a little bit, okay? Then get some static electricity. Rub the piece and the sugar packet against your elbows and give a little rub like this. And show people that not only are your hands absolutely empty, and not only have you perfectly restored the sugar packet and it can be closely examined, but that all the sugar has also returned back inside. To be a great magician is to be a great performer. And a great performer uses a whole bunch of different tools in his or her toolbox. And sometimes it's an intricate sleight of hand. Other times it's not about something on the micro level, but on the macro level. It's the boldness, it's the confidence of your gestures, the way it all flows with your words and your body language and all that. And this is one of those kinds of pieces. It's bold. Um, it's the kind of thing if you do it and you've got doubts or you do it hesitantly, uh, it's not going to work, okay? But if you do it and you're confident and you flow with it, it's going to fool people every single time and fool them really badly. It's rare to be do able to do a torn restored effect where your hands are obviously empty at the beginning, they're obviously at empty at the end, everything can be examined using an ordinary object that you can pick up in an ordinary space. Uh, I love this, I love this. For this you're going to need a sugar packet, okay? And it is nice, a little misdirection if you do have a coffee going on or something like that or even if there's not a coffee going on, if there's a, an ashtray or a cup or something, ideally a mug, something opaque uh, around, that can really work as well. Uh, and you're going to need a little bit of prep on this. <laughs> All I've done is I've got a torn piece from the top quarter of a sugar packet, okay? And if you plan to do this a lot, what you can do, of course, is uh, take a playing card and lay this on there, trace it, cut it out, and glue the playing card to the back, and it'll be firmer that way. It'll be, you can use it again and again. But I would not bother, okay? Once off is great. So, you've picked this up. You can make a big deal of showing your hands empty if you want, and just all I'm doing is I'm concealing this behind. Okay, I've got this behind there, and I'm just sort of, as I show my hands empty, I could be like this, okay? Or, if you want to really do advanced kind of thing with it, you can have this palmed, okay, and ask someone, would you grab me a sugar packet? Want to grab me one of those sugar packets and give it to me? That's a nice, clean way to start. Then I kind of hide this behind if I want. I can load this behind here with my thumb. My thumb and finger can kind of just load the two behind in my hand, okay? But Lord knows the easiest thing to do is to just start with it held behind. You can show your hands undeniably empty. Then you take it between your, right, uh, your thumb, your left thumb and finger, and you do the very standard shaking, okay? And get ready, because in a moment you're going to do this with your mouth. It's kind of a tiny baby bird fart with your mouth. Wow! Okay, so you're going to do that. So here, show the hands empty. I'm going to come over and apparently tear it. And all I'm doing is I'm making this sound. Now, if you do it for real, if, and as I pretend to tear, I'm just going to do this and let my thumb and finger drag this piece forward. That's all I'm doing. It makes some sound, but if you add a bit of to it, you'll see that it makes it even more, <laughs> more believable and dramatic. So I'm here. Now, you can go right, you don't have to do the shaking of the coffee thing, okay? But let me do this, show you that for now. I take the piece and I do this, like this, and everyone, all focus is here. No one's looking here. The fingers are sort of covering up. Everybody's looking here and they're absolutely convinced that obviously you just tore that off. Grab your coffee. Do a slightly exaggerated action, not too big like your Cirque du Soleil, but you're here like this, a little bit of a shake, 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 shake like that, and the fingers are going inside so no one can see how much sugar is coming out. You're like this, right? Put that down there, pick this up here, and I'm going to do the old rub on the elbows, which, you know, uh, it seems um, kind of obvious, but it's not. If you flow, okay, static electricity. So I'm going to bring this up to here, and as I do this rub on this elbow, I'm actually just going to leave this behind my neck, down my shirt, okay? So I, all focus is here, though, as I rub this here. Ditch the piece behind myself, okay? Then I reverse the position. I take this little, <laughs> there's nothing there. Rub this, and I don't put this way up there. I kind of sort of leave this more forward like that, okay? So the first one's back up there. The second one's here. Then I bring everything together, and you have this amazing, I mean, I find this thrilling every time I show it to people because I know it, the fact that this is perfectly restored is amazing. The fact that my hands are undeniably empty means we have no clue how we did it. And the fact that the sugar's back inside is just one of those really, really pretty moments of magic.